at us, but they were just very tall. They're very tall beings. Uh, you look at the Watchers now. You look at these Nordic aliens. They're like seven, eight foot tall, and they're blonde hair and blue eyes and beautiful beings. Uh, you can picture that pretty much as the type of uh, civilizations that were here uh, dominant before uh, Adam and Eve were created on Earth, before the Earth was destroyed by the Lord because of Satan's rebellion. Because Satan is a very tall being. Uh, when he arrives to Earth, you'll see that. He's going to be a very tall being because he's a, he's a former watcher. He's a former cherub angel. Uh, and they're very tall beings. Uh, and so you're going to see uh, some of this, you know, come out. Um, but Lemuria, Atlantis, and, and all these other civilizations, they had a, a galactic trade with Mars, uh, with Rahab, with the other planet. There was a planet that was blown up and completely cast out of the solar system. Uh, no, there was two, sorry. There was one that was completely blown up, and then there was another one that was cast out of the solar system, and that's Nibiru, Satan's home planet that was cast out of the, the solar system completely that returns to Earth every 3,600 years. And that's this planet X that's coming. It's got Satan's forces on it. Uh, because part of their judgment was to be locked up on that planet for all of these centuries and years. Uh, but towards the end of the days, it is allowed to return to Earth and uh, help conquer the world for Satan. That's just, that was his home planet. It was this, this, this uh, planet X that people are waiting to arrive. Mars was a part of it. Uh, and that's why you'll see these ancient civilizations, these artifacts on Mars of an earlier civilization. The ancient Egyptians, the long necked Egyptians that we see, they are from Mars. They are from Mars. And so these ancient uh, Egyptians that existed, you know, pre Adamic times, uh, even alongside Adamic times perhaps, uh, were from Mars. They were hybrids from Mars. Uh, and, and, you know, what the churches just sweep all this under the rugs, they can't explain it, and so they just don't. Uh, but, yeah, you look at these, these long-necked uh, Egyptians, where'd they come from? <laughs> well, they're from Mars. Uh, and, then, you know, there's so many different races on Earth. Uh, and so, uh, you know, the Earth's, Earth's a lot older than the churches will let you believe. Uh, they want you to believe only that the Earth is only 6,000 years old. Well, from the time the Lord replenished and recreated the Earth for Adam and Eve, yeah. Uh, but even in Genesis 1, it says he replenished the earth, which means that one time before it had been replenished already. The earth had been a thriving civilization, an angelic civilization. Because of Satan's rebellion, it was destroyed, laid dormant for thousands of years, and then the Lord recreated it, replenished it, uh, and started over again with Adam and Eve. And so uh, it's gone through many cycles. I don't know how many... Uh, I don't know how many cycles have been here on Earth. How many times there's been a civilization here uh, that was created and then fulfilled its days and then that was completely destroyed. Much like the cycle we're in now, folks. We were created with Adam and Eve. We go through a certain amount of a lot of time and then it's destroyed because we're going to go through the tribulation period. And so that's a, that's a, a, a beginning and ending of a, a cycle right there. Uh, I do believe that that's going to be like uh, the seventh cycle. I don't know why. I just uh, it just feels that that this right now with mankind on the planet being created by Adam and Eve is the seventh cycle. Is Lucifer chained on Nibiru? No, he's not. Or is he allowed to travel to Earth? Uh, is Job Christ temptations? Are you Job? Yeah. Okay. Are you Job Christ temptations? Lucifer is not chained anywhere. Lucifer runs a very high-tech kingdom um, that uh, enslaves Earth from behind the scenes, controls Earth from behind the scenes. Um, picture NORAD, you know, this, this uh, command center that we have in Colorado. It's inside the mountain, and they have all these screens up when they can see everything happening on the globe at one time. Uh, that's pretty much something that would be uh, similar to what Satan has in his kingdom. They can watch everything all the time. Now, the UFOs that they have that we see hover above cities and stuff, they actually take film footage of military bases and things that are going on. They're doing intelligence. Uh, because Satan omnip is not omniscient and omnipresent, can't be everywhere at one time, doesn't know everything at one time. And so he has very many of these, these watchers that were watchers before that fell 
They still serve in a watcher's capacity the way they're watching us. And they're spying on us, and all of their information goes back to their main computer databases uh, so that they know exactly what's going on Earth, who was what, what we're doing. They're aware of every piece of legislation we have here on Earth. They're aware of everything that the governments are doing on Earth. Uh, they're, they're very much hands-on. And uh, it's like their own little government that Satan has set up, his own government system, uh, keeping tabs on, on, tabs on everybody else's governments. Uh, and it's very computer has We got our microchips uh, in exchange of alien technology. Uh, the, the laser beams, uh, the microchips, a lot of the high-tech tech that we have now, the wireless communication, uh, things like that. It's all from alien technology, folks. This is all from Satan. So if we're just now getting it, imagine how long he's had it. <laughs> uh, and eventually... Uh, when the kingdoms merge, when he comes to Earth, uh, he, he won't miss a beat. He'll know, you know, he's running the world's governments of today already. Uh, so it's not like he's going to come out here and be completely clueless uh, of what's going on on Earth. He watches it constantly. There's cities underneath the uh, underneath the Earth, the Hollow Earth, uh, Agarda being the main one uh, in the North Pole. Uh, there was a North Pole entrance to the city of Agarda. Supposedly, they also call it Rainbow City. Supposedly, a very beautiful city. Uh, Admiral Byrd, B-Y-R-D. You might want to Google his name. Supposedly stumbled on it in his voyages uh, as an explorer uh, and wrote some information about it. Uh, that's one of the cities under the Earth. There's, very, there's, there's many. And they're all connected by a, a shuttle tube system. And I've put these pictures... Uh, in particular of the Dulce base and my website, thewatcherfiles.com. You can go there. I have pictures of the Dulce base. And this is a, a joint underground base uh, run by humans and aliens. Uh, and what most of the pictures are showing is, is uh, the shuttle system access. Uh, pictures that were, sh that were smuggled out of the base. Uh, some of them are familiar to uh, a subway system in Tensta, Switzerland. Uh, but they're not exactly the same thing. There is a, a Tensta, because you'll see that we're, there is a Tensta, uh, probably a shuttle access to Tensta, Switzerland, because uh, you'll also see one for the Aleutian mountain range. You'll also see a sign, a picture of a sign that was taken from underneath this base, the Tulsi base, and it talks about Nebru being Satan's home planet. And when I was just saw that, I was just thinking, could there be any more confirmation other than from the horses' mouths themselves? Uh, because so many people have, have disagreed with me over the years on what Nibiru is. And there it is in one of their own bases stating that they're waiting for Nibiru, which is Satan's home planet, to arrive. And that, and that the seals will be open from 2006 to 2012. Uh, and we're seeing the seals being opened. And so, very fascinating uh, you know, that's usually how it works. Because you're not going to find very many churches in America that agree with everything I ever say. But you'll find that Satan and his kingdom does. They know exactly what I'm saying. <laughs> Probably why so many of them listen to my show, read my stuff. And I see it in the Bible codes. Satan listens to everything I say, reads everything I write. Uh, because he knows I know. I blow him away. He's always in shock. And I always laugh when I see that in the codes. <laughs> uh... Because, uh, you know, and he knows what, as well as I do, the majority will never wake up in time. And that's why the majority uh, is, is persecuted and that the soul is under the altar and the fifth seal. Uh, but those who are, are, are just enough to where we can really destroy a huge chunk of his arriving forces on Earth. You know, he plans on arriving here with millions and millions of his forces on Nibiru, which are these tall Anunnaki giants. And, uh, you know, I had a vision of these things years ago, and then they're just ripping humans apart and eating them. And, wow.